open up a suitable browser and ensure that you type here the URL to the Python organization's website. You should then be presented with a view similar to this. You then should click on to here where it says download and you will be presented with this view. I'm going to show the downloading of this version of Python. So you click onto here and what you should see down here is the fact that the download of the file to install Python takes place. So it's just a question now of waiting for the download to complete. Once complete, it's a case of coming down here, clicking onto this little arrow and then going click on show in folder and you will be presented with this and this is the downloaded file. It's now a question of just double clicking on this file. You will then be presented with this dialog box and it's a question of just clicking on run. You will then be presented with this dialog box informing you that your computer is preparing to install Python. Then this will appear and it's now a question of just clicking on next. And as you do, different dialogues will appear. And at one point you will see this appear where it's saying that the installer is determining whether you have enough disk space in your computer in which to install the Python programming language. Now it's just a question of waiting for Python to install and you can see activity going on here. It's saying it's copying new files across at the moment. You'll see this appearing at one stage during the process of the installation and you eventually end up with this particular dialog box and what you do then, you just click on finish and Python will now be installed. Now a question of simply going to all programs, locating Python 3.4 and clicking on it. It is then a question of clicking onto this idle where in brackets it says Python GUI. You will then see this appear and you know the GUI of Python is function is as you would expect. There's one more test we can do. We can come here, we can click on all programs, go to Python 3.4 and then select what it says Python command line. And of course, when you do this, the following will appear. If you follow this process, you will have Python installed on your computer. Obviously, I've shown it for Windows here. For computers with different operating systems, you'll need to download a different installer. Now, the rest of the videos in the playlist will show you how to use the Python command line as well as the Python Idle. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.